Hi first graders, welcome to your week 19 sound spelling card video. This week we're going to see another old friend. Uh, this is the ocean card. You already learned the O by itself and the O blank E. There are two more spellings that we're going to learn that make the O sound from the ocean card. The first spelling is O-A. This is a vowel pair. When you see O-A together, it makes the sound O. And you'll notice that there's a line at the end of O-A. What that means is there will always be a letter that comes after O-A. You will never see O-A at the end of a word. If you hear the O sound at the end of a word, it might be an O by itself, it might be O-W, but it won't be O-A. That brings us to the other spelling that we're going to learn this week, O-W. O-W makes a sound, <clears throat> excuse me, makes a sound O. It can be at the beginning of a word, it can be at the middle of the word, or it can be at the end of the word. So O-W is pretty flexible and it can be anywhere in a word when you hear that O sound. So keep that in mind while we're practicing these words. If you hear the sound at the beginning, it might be O-A, it might also be O-W. If you hear it at the end of a word, it's not going to be O-A, it's going to be that O-W spelling. So grab your whiteboard and marker. We're gonna get some practice in before your pretest in just a moment. The first word that we're going to practice is the word crow. Crow, the crow flew over the field. Crow, k -r -o. crow. First sound, k. Could be a C, could be a K. Do you know which one it is? It's a C, k -r -o. O, oh, that O sound is at the end of a word, so it's not going to be O-A, it's going to be O-W, crow. The next word is a word that you should know quite well. It's the word snow. Look out your window and you'll probably see snow, sn-o, snow, sn-o. Oh, that O sounds at the end, so it's spelled O-W, snow. The next word that we're going to spell is the word Throw, can you throw the ball? Throw, starts with that triple blend with the digraph. Throw, 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 throw. The next word is a word that you think you've learned before, but it's actually a different spelling. This is the word no. It's not the no that means the opposite of yes. It's the no, the things you have in your brain. I know you can spell this word. No has just two sounds, n, o. The first sound, n, is spelled with the silent k. I know you know the spelling. N, o, and that o sound at the end is o, w, no. The next word we're going to practice is the word slow. Slow down when you're walking on ice. Slow, 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 slow. The next word we're gonna practice is the word boat. Boat, b-o-t, boat, b-o. The O sounds in the middle, so it could be either one of our spellings. And it's O-A, B-O-T, boat. The next word that you're going to spell is the word coach. Coach, your coach can help you get better at your sport. Coach, K-O-C-H, three sounds. First sound is K, might be a C, might be a K. It's A, C, K-O-C-H, coach, there we go. The next word that we're going to spell is the word oak. Oak, a tall oak tree grew in my yard. Oak has just two sounds. O, k, oak, o, whoops, o, and the k sound. Could be a C, could be a K. Do you know which one it is? It's a K, oak. There we go. The next word that we're going to spell is the word roam. Roam, she let her dog roam all over the yard. Roam, r o m, roam, r o m, roam. The last word that we're gonna spell is the word coast. Coast, we're lucky to live on the coast. K-O-S-T, 
there's a blend at the end of the word. K oast. First sound is k. Could be a C, could be a K. Do you know which one? It's a C. K oast. Coast. There you go. Those are some words to help you practice the OA and the OW spelling. You will see lots more later on today when you take your spelling pretest. So good luck. Remember these rules, and I'll see you later.